Hey everybody! So to be honest, I cannot get enough of these tarot games. Tarot as a game, the way it... <laughs> the reason it was made, I guess... Uh, well, not this particular deck, obviously. <laughs> Toth was very magical right, right from the start. But the tarot history was actually meant to be a game, right? So I... Okay, wait, words. Let's start this video right. I have a glass of wine, a well-deserved one, might I add, on a um, quite lonely Thursday evening, must admit. Anyway, I'm okay with that because I'm alone with my cards and what I was trying to say is I cannot get enough of tarot games ever since I did that... Um, well, tarot clue game, the mystery game, mystery murder game, and then, what was the other one? Tarot memory! Oh my gosh, I've been playing that game, I don't know how many times since the video. It's just so much fun, and I think it's the December energy that is giving me that because I just want to be alone with cards. Who can relate? Now, I got, I don't want to say bored, but I got the idea of using the cards for another game, which is Solitaire, Tarot Solitaire. And I'm a 90s kid, so I used to waste my hours um, sitting at the PC, the one, you know, computer in the computer room that we used to have in the house, and uh, wasting away <laughs> playing solitaire on the computer but that is how I know that game now there is a type of nostalgia that I never knew so golden age thinking for me playing that game with actual physical cards which is what I'm going to do now and you know what I searched this up online the only thing I could find was tarot solitaire and then taking out quite a few cards taking out i don't know the queen or something or or the page princess taking out all the majors and i am not interested in that no 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 i'm going to do this with all the cards of the deck so get ready if you want to join me these are the rules, and I've been playing this game for a couple of days now, trying to get good at it. <laughs> I'm not saying I was successful, but um, I am saying I think I kind of got the rules down. So if you want to follow along, cheers! Alright, should have done this before. But let's shuffle really, really well. This is my Dutch Toth. I rescued it from my van. I'm in a Toth mood. Also, these cards are smaller, which is nice with these big spreads. But the reason I'm using this deck instead of the gold box, which is more beautiful, is that these cards are used a bit more I think that's the reason why they don't slide that much. I think with making these long lines of, you know, cards that fit together, having a deck that's kind of stays in place is, uh, is just an added bonus. <laughs> and the gold box ones really do slide around. So you're going to have to bear with me and accept the slightly less aesthetic uh, Dutch Toth cards. Okay, this is enough shuffling. This is how it goes. Six rows. Wait. Okay. <laughs> the first card we turn around, this is the Six of Wands. Let me put it in the light a little bit, like that. Yeah. The second one is like that. With the second card we turn around. Third row is two cards like that. Third card turn around. Then we do three face down. 
fourth card turned around. Four face down. Fifth card turned around, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've been playing yesterday all day, well not all day, but for at least two hours I think, but with five rows because I didn't have enough room for six. Um, so this is our pile, right, of cards right there. And um, yeah, this is the place where we turn over the card, right? And then here is where we can gather our aces. So, let's see. The rules are, um, whenever you have a spot open, you can only place the Toth Knight there, right? Because that is the highest card. If it was a Rider Waite Smith or a Marseille deck, then it would be the King, because it goes, of course, King, Queen, uh, Knight, page and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ace, right? In the Toth, it goes same with the numbers, but uh, we have knight, queen, prince, princess, and then the 10, etc. So only the knight in a, you know, in a new spot or the universe card, because that is Major Arcanum 21. So, uh, other rules are we cannot, you know, as a, just like it, I'll, I'll be quick with this, really. I know I'm rambly, but I'll be quick with explaining the rules so you can follow along. So do you like my nail polish? It's very cheap and it's very 90s and I used to have nail polish like this. <laughs> Same with the, the blue one that I wore in the other tarot game video. Anyway. Tarot Solitaire, we only have two colors, right? Black cards, red cards, and you have to put them together alternatively. Um, here we have four suits, obviously, plus the majors. So just majors together, but you can't put three on, on five, you have to have the four, right? That makes sense. Um, you can, though, put the six of wands on the seven of discs, because that is uh, a different suit. You can also put the five of discs on the six of wands. But if this was a wand, you could not put the five of wands on the six of wands because that is the same suit. I hope I said this correctly. So I'm going to do this. All right. I'm starting. Starting right away to see what we got here. Okay, that's pretty good. Eight of wands onto the nine of discs. Seven of discs on top of there. These ones need to be turned over. Two fours, all right? So let's see, I can choose to put this one there. That means I open up this card. That is a eight of swords, okay. And I have one spot left there, right? So let's see if we find the universe card or a knight. Well, we start off pretty good. This is a good base. I have my ace. Let's do this because this does take up quite a lot of space. But is it just me or is this the perfect, just like the tarot memory, the perfect cozy December wintertime game, right? For tarot lovers. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, you saw me shuffle the deck, right? <laughs> Okay, let's put these over here because these are just piles. We're trying to get all the cards of the same suit right here. And then once we have them all, plus the majors, we won. <laughs> so, strength or lust doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the three of discs definitely goes here. Hermit doesn't go anywhere. Another ace, very good.
princess the two okay see now I could do that but why I could just put it right there in its place uh, five of wands I gotta keep track of what I got five of wands doesn't go yet So you're gonna be flipping for quite a while. So if you don't enjoy that, this is definitely not the game for you. And it is very, you know, you need patience for this, for sure. This is a knight, and I think I'm just going to do that. That's the knight of swords. So obviously, once you got the card, you could use the next one, and then if that one goes, you could use the next one, etc. But nine of cups right now doesn't go anywhere. There's another knight. Hope I made the right decision. Ooh, okay. Two of wands. See, now that's nice because I have space. I could obviously, that's a rule, I'm not sure if I made that up. No, I think I think we're allowed to do that. If I had put the two of swords onto the three of discs, I could, in this case, take it off, put it there to have space for this two of wands. Yes. Ten. Another. Oh, wait. See now? I'm allowed backsies. The three goes right there. Should I be allowed to... Oh, yeah! I never even thought of that. To do the same with the majors? Let's. Let's put a pile for the majors, too. Like, right there. This is right there, next to it. Well, that's not pleasing to the eye, is it? Wait, let me do this right. There. So uh, this is basically, the Fool, of course, is basically our, uh, our major ace. <laughs> Isn't that a weird, <laughs> wouldn't that be a weird name, like a DJ name or something? Hmm. Two of cups, yes, I can put you right there. Okay, so we know all the knights are in these cards. They're not over there, right? Because I have a feeling we saw all of them. The Ace of Wands might be in there, though. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, so let me just do that right away. See if we get the change card, and we can have twos all over. Right. Six, no, because that's five. Queen, yes, but it's Queen of Swords, so that won't go. Hope the camera captures this well, because I'm just playing this game, loving it, okay? <laughs> so let's see, which six do we have? That's six of one, so that won't go, even when I might see a six that doesn't fit. So actually I know all the sixes I might find in these cards do fit. The seven of wands. Three of swords. Let me 
give that a place right there and actually do the same here. Um, yeah. We know the universe is here. Am I missing something? Let me go through everything. Wait. Nine. No, we're good. Lots of sevens in here. Six of discs. Oh, 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 oh. Six of discs. Come on, we need a five. Oh, there we go. That's a two. Very nice. Hmm. One. Check this out. Two. Three. Could this be the emperor? No. <laughs> it's a princess, which means we're going to be able to use our tens. And then move over that nine, hopefully. And then you flip over these cards and start all over again. Yeah, five. That's a wands, but I am so very much allowed to do this because this is a four of swords. And then we could put the four of wands onto the five of discs. And I'd say, I don't actually know. I don't actually know because we saw the universe and a lot of knights too, right? So... But not a lot of queens. I think this is full of queens. Did we even see one queen? I think I saw the queen of uh, swords and the queen of cups as well. At least I hope so. Otherwise it's going to be a short game in it. Okay, here we go. Queen of cups. After the queen we need the prince or a prince. Uh... Yes. And the reason I don't have anything there is because none of these can go there, right? Because you need to start from night or universe. And I've been having so much fun playing this. <laughs> I can put this princess on here see what's underneath. That's nice. Okay. Nine. This is a knight. Let me use that. Then we can put the queen of swords on there. Cannot actually believe I remembered that. <laughs> that she's in the deck. A ten of wands. Perfect. We can put the nine of discs on there all the way down to the four. Right? Ah, beautiful. Four. Five. Open up this one. Open up this one. Okay, good. Two can go here. We know uh, the star comes... Wait, no, that should be the other way around. 17, 16 tower, so there. So, three of wands, finally it's there. We can put the three of wands there. And look at that, oops. I really like to have everything kind of equal in this pile. We have all threes, and we can start putting in the fours at this point, I believe. Then I won't move the fives until I have the fours. 
there's another princess. So we'll be able to put another 10 on there. No empty spots. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, mm, I need a queen. That's a ten of cups onto the princess of swords. Very good. Now I can put this nine of swords onto the ten of cups. Do we have an eight? That is the eight of swords, so I cannot use it on the nine of swords, unfortunately. But I know there are plenty of eights in here. Remember? Prince, no, no, we're looking for... Oh, I know the lovers goes there. Queen, knight, queen. Now we would like the prince to be there. 15, 14. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. The Five of Wands goes here so that I have room for this Five of Cups. Then, come on. Chariot was waiting for you. Yeah. Another queen. Wait, no, 13, we need 13 first. Six. Oh wait, that's a prince but it's swords, so no, no, no go. Okay, uh, let me see, this is lust, it's, it's 11, so it goes nowhere because on here we put the nine, on here we put the 13, and here we put the adjustment. So nine, hmm. Thirteen, eight of cups. Is this a cups? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Eight of cups, then we need a seven of swords I know is in here. How do I remember all of this all of a sudden? It's funny. Four, no, that's a disc, but I could put it here. Then, yeah, just leave it. Six of Swords. Hmm. I'll leave it, I guess. Moon. Which is 18. Nine. Yeah, yeah. Give us a Prince. Or the adjustment eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, night. A smart move to put a night there. Yes. Prince is Prince of Cups 
does go onto the Queen of Swords, and that means we can use our Princess of Swords to put there to open up this one. And here we have our other Queen, but let's see if we can do the switcheroo. Queen of Swords goes onto the Knight of Discs, and the Queen of Discs onto the Knight of Cups. All right. There's another prince, and now we're looking for a princess. Seven of Swords. Mm. Four of Cups is one of these, right? Four of Cups and Five of Swords, I think. Thirteen, twelve. Actually, how about we? How about we use that? Five of discs, six of wands, meaning I can put the six of cups right there. Not sure if that's really gonna help me at all. Not much of a strategizer, but. This is what we got so far. She can go 11, and then we got 11 onto 12. I mean, 11 onto 10, then 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, 16, 17. Yes, we good. Uh, let's see. Really gonna need that Four of Cups soon, right? I could, of course. Let me try that. Maybe it's gonna, I don't know, take out points or something because of the extra moves. But, you can probably follow what I'm doing here. And then, I can't believe I actually knew that was the Four of Cups. Then we can keep going, whoops. Five, six, and here's six. Guess what? I've had to recreate this final scene of the game for you because, uh, I'm gonna show you something funny in the end, where I get frustrated because camera stopped filming the ending, where I actually showed this was a game that you could end and win, and so I uh, threw all the cards in the air, yeah, because that's in the kind of mood I am. <laughs> anyway, we were right here, and I think I was just about to... And what we got here, so let's see. Um, doesn't really matter in what um, order you do this now. Six of swords, seven of swords. I made sure, guys, for the sake of the video, um, to go through the footage card by card so I was certain everything was back in its place. I was able to find the footage that I needed. Um, let's see. 
that's 20. And because we got all the cards here, don't we? Except that now, of course, I'm completely not in the game anymore. Looking for seven of cups. Here we got 19, 20, 21. So there you go, majors are done. So yeah, I was saying. Every card is in the spot that I had left it. Um, well, not where I had left it, but where the camera stopped filming. So here we can put the eight, nine, nine, we're almost all at the 10. Let me see. Oh, shoot, forgot. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Oh. See, this is, I'm sorry about this. Anyway, um, from here on in, we can put the princesses, right? No, wait, we still have a 10 to go. We do have the cups sorted, the, um, the discs sorted, Mm -hmm. Wands, here we go, swords, next are our princes, wands, cups, discs, swords, and then we got everything else just to show you we can finish this game because it was just such a shame that you missed out on it. Do you know what the next thing would be in that 90s screen? That's what I did with the cards and well I'll show you as I ask you <laughs> This is so silly. As I ask you to perhaps subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you're into tarot at all. And, well, sometimes silliness and just fun and games. Thank you so much for being here. This is a long one and I am playing the game because it got all messed up, this video. But I'm glad I was able to shoot the last part, even though it was chaotic and kind of annoying as hell. Sorry about that. But let's play the game. I would love to hear <sighs> some strife. Put the word strife in the comments in case you made it this far and have nothing to add to the video, which I can imagine. But put strife in your comment in case you do wish to share something with me in the comment section. So either way, I would love if you've made it this far to see the word strife. Thank you so much for doing that. Don't click away yet. I will link another video in the screen that I think you'll enjoy as well. I'll see you next week. Bye. Much love.